All right. Well, you're very kind tonight. What's cool about tonight is uh, I've never done this before. I never did the podcast. I got in front of people. Never did a weekend. Thank you, Katie. Um, you saw it like that. It didn't break, but you should have known if I leave, if you leave something on stage, something's going. <laughs> One of those lights went down. So now is part of. Uh, I open up the door for a little Q and A. And how's this work, Katie? Oh, th th is, am I sweating a little, or am I like, <laughs> do I got straight up swamp ass? <laughs> is it? Do I have the pit wet? Do I, am I, is it armpit wet? Because that's gnarly. Is this bad under there? Or it's just my face. Okay. So, Katie. I do, do, is that what I look like? I look like this right now? Well, actually, this is what I look like after I seem like, oh, damn. <laughs> okay, hold on. One wow. <laughs> um, okay. Okay, so now these two fine gentlemen are going two, to... Two, not one, but two. Two okay. are going to... Jesus, um, where'd you come from, the UFC? <laughs> Who'd you Mar just knock Marcos is in center? great shape. Come on up here, Marcos. Get in the spotlight a little he bit. He goes to Whole Goods. He's, he's pretty humble. He's in great shape. Are you 2% body fat now, right? <laughs> so, so Marcos. How you doing? Marcus. Marcos and Jeffrey. Marcus and Jeffrey. Hey, guys. How you doing? Good. They're you... going to take the mic and uh, Rome and uh, anybody who has a question they'd like to ask Jim in just the raise, question and what, answer. Raise your hand. Raise your hand and they'll hand Q, you the mic. If you have a question. And we'll go from there. Q&A. Anyone. And I here, can't see anyone. And, and here we go. I have my first gal right here. Oh, okay. It's a, it's a man. <laughs> hey, wait a minute. <laughs> okay, so she raised her hand, and I went to her, and she goes, it's not for me, it's for him. Okay. So, okay, because I was going to say, we so, need him replaced. No, no. That's how, sorry. <laughs> All I could see was like, no. you mistaken that, like, no. wow. Okay. No. Oh. Yeah. Everyone's got different. Okay. No, that's fine. I got this. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> So, uh, so Jim, uh, first, do you remember me? Do you know me? I can't. You, I'm you can't. Sta uh, come here, Do yourself. You see that light? Yeah. Stare into it. <laughs> and then you tell me what you can see. Uh, okay. So I, 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 I get it. So uh, first of all, a huge fan. We uh, we love you. We saw you um, like four times in Long Island at the, the Paramount. Okay. Uh, and uh, so just you know. Valley Stream is in the house. Nice! All right. We, uh, we went to high school together. Uh, whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> okay, okay. Who am, I, who am I talking to? Yeah, my name's Jonathan, but well, here's the thing. So who, I, uh, what? <laughs> no one heard that. You were just going to die. No, so... What, are you I, undercover? Are you in witness protection in Sarasota? <laughs> oh, trust me. There's a lot of them where we grew up. Um, All right. So, who knows what I'm talking about? Uh, so, um, so I went to Central, but I was a year ahead of you. However, you wait. Were you in Omega? Uh, uh, no, Omega Gamma Delta. No, I wasn't in Omega. Were no. you in one of the fraternities? No, no, I wasn't. All right, in just real quick. <laughs> I can't see you. <laughs> we went to high school that had fraternities. Okay. Yeah. And we thought that was normal. When you go down the hallway and you see guys just lined up going, Oh no, don't flinch! <laughs> and you're like, what's going on? Oh, it's Hell Week for fraternity! You know, people, people, people walk to school like this, they were beating them with bats in the ass. And not until I got out of Valley Stream, and I would tell people like, Yeah, you know, you know the fraternities in school, and like they beat you to death to get the jacket. And, and they're like, what? <laughs> yeah, they were gangs, but true. They called them Omega. Uh, so go ahead. So yes, anyway, I know so, exactly so I was ahead of you. However, my wife Yvonne, who's right here in front of me, okay. you guys graduated together, and yeah. your lockers were right next to each other. Oh! Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so. <laughs> Here's my, so here's the thing, right? 
This so, is so fascinating to me. So do you know Jimmy Shaka? I do know Jimmy Shaka, yeah. <laughs> is he here? <laughs> really? Shaka. <laughs> Shaka, hold on, Shaka. Do you know who's over there? I don't know Jonathan, but is that Yvonne Sterrett? Yeah. No. No? No. But the, okay. <laughs> so. What's the last name? Well, her maiden name was Diaz in high school. Yeah. Von Diaz. Yeah. So, but here's the thing, Jim. So, she tells me, tell me all the time that you actually had a crush on her in high school. That is. And so here's the thing. Every time, like, we would get into an argument or something, she would say, "You know, I could have married Jim Brewer." Uh, I just want to know if that's true or she's been BSing me all these years, you know? I got on over here. Oh. Well, I will say this. I'm a visual. I can't see, but I will say this. Most likely, I probably did. <laughs> if she says it, I would believe it. I was, I was dying. For, I was a nerd, dude. I couldn't get chicks, which is why I'd run down the hallway. All right, Yvonne, let me ask you this. I can't see you, but do you remember me running down the hallway and smashing my head into the locker by pretend just so I can show off and try to attract people like you? <laughs> So if this was a locker, that, that was my mating call. Someone give roses, I would run down the hallway, and the locker, I'd kick it with my foot, but no one would see the foot, because I'd have my hand like this, and I'd go. <laughs> and some people are like, oh my God, I'm like, oh, I'm all right, I do it every day, I practice it. <laughs> do you remember any of that, Yvonne? <laughs> Anyway. She's laughing. Okay, good. Yeah, we could have been married. I'm sorry I let you get away, Yvonne. <laughs> it's going to be hard to follow that. It is. Marcos has someone. Okay. Jim. Yes. Should we get our COVID boosters? Say it again. Should we get our COVID booster shots? That's entirely up to you. <laughs> Okay, here we go, Jim. What's going on, Jim? Where are you? Who, me? Oh, hey, here. Okay, okay. Tall, redhead. Um, yes. So I just started doing open mic comedy here at, like, McCurdy's yep. and a couple of the local places. Awesome yep. club. Yep. I just, you know, you being... Does you know, Les do the class? Yes. Yeah, he I does. now wish you, when you go up on stage... <laughs> He's a slow talker. Yes. Great human being. Go ahead. Yeah. I was just wondering what kind of advice you had for a young buck that wanted to try make it in the stand-up world from someone like yourself. Here's a simple, honest question. Okay. Why are you doing it? Well... I, funny enough, I did stand up in like third and fourth grade at like the talent show and I completely stole all of Jim Gaffigan's bits and pretended that I wrote them and everybody was like, you're a natural, I'm like, yeah, it was all me, but I, I've been listening to a ton of comedy podcasts and I sort of accidentally gave myself like a comedy education almost uh -huh. and I was like, I think I could do this and then I've just been watching, you know, specials and I'm like, I think I want to do this. And I've done a couple open mics and people say I'm good. And I was like, why not? See where it goes. Well, I'll say this. I always tell people, <clears throat> A, the reason I ask you why, it's if you're in it for the love of it, you're going to last a long time. If you're in it for the, woo, 
I got a... It'll, it might come, but it's a whole different path. Um, and the other thing is, how old are you? I just turned 22. Oh, dude. Get your <laughs> ass on stage and stop. <laughs> Whatever you might, listen, here's what changed for me. Here's what changed for me. So, I would, me and Shaka, Shaka would play a rock club, high school, I'd go out and, and just do bits and introduce them, and then I'd go to open mic, and I, I grew up in Long Island, and then I went to uh, a community college, a theater, and I was convinced I was gonna be the next Eddie Murphy, okay? And I knew I was. I'm like, I'm gonna be on television. I am gonna be, there's nothing stopping it. I was very confident and cocky. However, my parents moved to Florida. They moved to a place called Palm Harbor, north of here. Yeah, yeah. and I, lo I did. People were wearing cowboy boots. I just came from Long Island. I'm like, whoa, what is, what is going on? People have listened to Bo Stevens, like, what is going on? I had a mullet with a denim jacket, ACDC. Like, I didn't know what was nice. going on. So it, and I also couldn't find a theater. And I couldn't really find comedy, and I lost my way. And I started thinking, ah, I know that's my dream, I know it's everything. And everyone around you tells you, you need to go to college, you need to fall back. What if you don't make it? What if you don't make it? Well, you know, that's a tough industry. That's a tough industry. And yes, all that's true, but everyone that tells you that has never lived that journey. That journey only exists in your head. So when you come to a term of like, I respect my mom, I respect the friends, I respect the ones that think I should be in colleges and this and that, this is my, they can't see what I see. So if you set what you're gonna see, know you're gonna keep going off, but you keep going. And then Eddie Murphy was on our Sinu Hall show. And I'll never forget this, and I kind of, I was like, ah, I'll go into hotel restaurant management. I could still be funny and entertain people. And I could be like a Katie. And like become a production manager and stuff like that. You know what I mean? Yeah, right? And I'll have fun because you're always up late, right? So Eddie Murphy was on Arsenio Hall. And Arsenio Hall goes, Eddie, what do you got for young comics? And Eddie looked right at the television. And he goes, don't listen to your mother. He goes, your mother telling you to fall back on something. Now, if you're gonna eat a pie, why would you not eat it? If you're gonna learn about this and that, why would you, if you're gonna learn about computers, why are you gonna learn about bacon part of the time? And why are you gonna learn about math, math part of the time? If you're gonna learn about bacon, start baking 100%. And I went, oh my God, he's right. Why would I go to college? Why would I go to anything that has nothing to do with stand-up comedy? And I never looked back. And so, here we are. Thank you. Yeah. Awesome. And here's another thing. Got one here. Here's another thing. Your open mic world is the greatest time. And I'll say this too. Most comics are not your friends. They're your friends till you start doing well. And then they don't like you anymore. It's, a, it's very... Don't get caught up on what your peers should think of you. Because the minute I let that go, that's another thing. You're not in it for other comics. You're in it for yourself. Does that make sense? Yes. yes. Hi, When's your Jim. next? Are you doing another open mic? Sorry. Hey, Jim, we're, we're, we're running out of time. Oh, we sorry. Get, we got to get to the rooftop. We got to get to the rooftop. We're one of the red wristband. Okay. But it, not, not yet before I explain it. So how, how do you want to end this? <laughs> I'll, I'll end it by this. Hold on, Katie. He's talking to you. One more. Let's do one more. Hi, Jim. Oh, go ahead, honey. Yeah. Jim, my family is a family of patriots. Okay. And do they wear like <laughs> red, white, and blue? I know. And they should, blood, really, but it's just always and funny. Like, do they wear Paul Revere hats? No. Unfortunately, they. And bled, I say that because no, whenever un I think Unfortunately, of it. they bled red, white, and blue. Okay. Okay. So we're all. I have been, and so is my brothers, big, huge fans of Howard Stearns for years and years. Okay. Yeah. 
However, I know where you're going. However, not so much. Okay. And I know he was a huge promoter of you. And, yes. And my brother said before I got here tonight, if you can get a hold of Jim, you got to ask him. What's going on with him and Howard Stern these days? All right, here's How, what I'll tell you. Yeah. Here's what I'll tell you. Let's talk. Here's what I'll tell you. Here's my relationship with Howard Stern. I never reached out to him and say, can I go on the show? Uh, yeah, I take that back. I did towards him. Howard has always praised me, always put me in an area of a spot, always allowed me to be, you know, like one day's Paul McCartney, then he has me talking about my dad. And I'd always go, oh my God, like how am I gonna compete with this superstar he has on? And I always, I always thought that was very respectful of him to trust me to bring whatever story of truth they had. Now, I don't, pr if he reached out today and said, Jim, will you come on the show? I'd be there in a second. However, if something came up, I would stand my ground and be honest with him. I've done, I do that with everyone. And do I agree? Of course not. However, I do see it as this. And that was a, that was a tough, because people come up to me like we're best friends. We're not best friends. Just like any show. So be like, hey, what's gut feel like? I, I don't know. TV shows are you meet people for 10 seconds, and then you're, and then you're on the lights, and then the show ends. They're like, all right, we'll see you next time. I'm like, uh, uh, okay. And that's it. <laughs> it's not a good or bad thing, but that's, that's, that's what you don't see. Howard, I'd go in. I don't see him until I walk in. I'm like, hey, all right. And afterwards, like, oh, my God, that was great. You made me laugh. So, and I loved Make, Howard would laugh so hard, his, he, his chest, his mouth would go up in the air and he looked like a Muppet, like ah, 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 ah. And all I can hear is bum, 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 ah, ah. I can't speak for him, but I think he's an example of there's Howards in our family. There's Howards that are our neighbors now. There are Howards that are our children now. And this is what I'm talking about. They want that. We gotta find, we're not talking about that. We're gonna talk about life. We're gonna talk about how we help you. How can I help you? How can I help your brother? How can I help your elderly mom? How can I help? How can we get back to that part of our lives and that part of community? Because the more they put out there on the television, the more they put out on liberal, conservative, LGBTQ, for the guns, abortion, the border, it is the greatest defl Oh, the football game. Oh, did you watch it? Oh, Johnny Depp. While they're doing it, they're raping our minds like never before. So... Stay who you are, and that's all I can say with Howard. If he asks me back tomorrow, I'll be back there. I, I haven't asked to go on, and he hasn't asked me, but I don't think that's anything personal. I just think it's, that's all. So thank you for loving everything that you stand for, but I think it's time we all have to find a happy medium, and we will, we will. They work for us, and the minute you realize that, if you suck at a job, take them out. Stop with the January 6th. They don't deserve to be there. They all need to be rooted out. Case closed. Thanks, Jim. That's all Not for the question and answer. Jim Brewer, everybody. It's over for them. They failed horrendously. With war, with division, they all need to go. Two Jews walking a bar. Have a good one. Okay.